In this problem, we have to solve this equation for p. So we're going to do it using something called the square root property. So the square root property says if you have x squared and it's equal to a number, which we'll call a, when you take the square root of both sides, you get x equals plus or minus the square root of a. So super important property. So here, this p minus 5 thing is pretty much our x. So we'll start by taking the square root of both sides. So p minus 5 squared equals the square root of 9. And so now, uh, when you take the square root on the left, the 2 goes away, the square root goes away, so you just get p minus 5, and that's equal to plus or minus, and the square root of 9 is 3. The next step is to add 5 to both sides, so plus 5, plus 5, so you have p equals 5 plus or minus 3. And then you can just do each one. You do the plus and you do the minus. So let's do the plus first. So p equals 5 plus 3. That gives us 8. That's one of our answers. And then p equals 5 minus 3. That gives us 2. That's another answer. I hope this video has been helpful.